How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Giants Corner to Corner Challenge. My name is Driver53, and as you can see, we are harvesting some soybeans. And that is because I'm getting very, very close to completing this challenge here that I set out for myself. But guys, it's going to take a lot of work. I've got to get this entire soybean field done. I've got a corn field over there that I've got to get done as well. And then over on the other side of the map, I've got some um, uh, sunflowers that I've got to get out of the ground as well. And um, as you can see, all my other fields are pretty full of weeds. And that's because I've got to get a bunch of straw off the ground. And we've got some mowing. Uh, guys, I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to get done probably this month or next month in november that way i can sell everything off in like december and january and hopefully hopefully have this thing completely wrapped up but before i can go do all of those other tasks i've got to get this truck and dual trailer set up over here to the uh, area where i'm harvesting all of these soybeans and, and this thing it, it's it's kind of light right now so it's been jumping around like crazy um all of this soybean, I'm going to take it um, and sell it whenever the price is good. Maybe, I think. Hopefully, in December, it's a good price. Um, but that way, we can just make absolute pure money on this. I can't really do anything else with soybeans. Um, I might be able to sell or not sell, but give some of it to my pigs. Um, but that's going to have to wait until after I get the other two fields harvested. But let's go ahead and jump up to one of my other farms that I've got up in the corner. I've got a job up there that I could get started on right now. And that job is none other than making some more silage. You see, it's October right now, and it only takes 48 hours or, or two months for everything to be able to ferment. And then I should be able to sell it right around the peak price time in December or January. So if I get it done right now at 1.30, right on a uh, October, hopefully in December, I should be able to make some really, really good money on this silage. And and all my animals, uh, they don't need any more. I've got plenty of TMR to last at least, at least another year. Um, and hey, hey, I can make any more of that within like two, three months. So I've got enough to get through the winter time here. Absolutely no problem at all. So I'm going to go and make silage right here on this last cut of the year. That way I can make a lot, a lot of money on it. And uh, the reason I keep coming back to silage is because... Silage is a massive, massive moneymaker. And you may be wondering why I'm not making silage out of my corn. Well, the reason for that is because it's very expensive to actually make silage out of corn because of the equipment that is needed. So by having the mower here and just wrapping it with the quick bale or the quick quick bale by Mark Thor, I'm able to have a lot less investment in it. And I can, you know, get multiple cuts off of this field every single year. Um, that's one thing that I've learned in all my testing is that with the corn, you know, you only get to harvest that one time if you're using seasonal play. And with the grass here, you can get multiple cuts off this and actually make just as much, if not a little bit more money than you can with the um the corn silage so why not just go ahead and make a really big field here um and then you know if you decide that hey i actually need a little bit of hay out of it you don't have to replant you've already got everything set in place all you gotta do is use your tether your windrower and boom there you go you are set up and good to go on your um hay making process as well but i'm gonna go ahead and get a worker on this i have a, another worker over in the harvester they're getting full on grain. So let's go ahead and go unload them really quickly. I got the first harvester unloaded. And what do you know? This harvester over here needs unloaded as well. So we got a little bit over 14,000 out of that first one. Going to go ahead and pull up right here. Going to go ahead and uh, just completely fill this trailer. Hopefully is what I'm going to be able to do. And then uh, we'll be able to start putting into the second trailer on the next little bit here. I'm hoping that I could get everything in this field in this one combo that i've got right here if not i do have the other truck still that has the other trailer now it is a little bit bigger capacity i think than what you see right here um but it, it's only a single i don't have the dolly and everything set up with it but i do have two so whenever we get on these sunflowers um especially that corn over there that corn is going to take both of these uh combos um, for sure. But look at that. We've got 89% in the front trailer right here. So we, we, we should be okay. I should have enough room for this. 
and I was talking about the quick, quick Baylor earlier by Mark Thor. And here it is, y'all. We are wrapping all of this straw right here, making some massive bales. I've got quite a few fields that I need to get the straw off of the ground. Now, I'm not going to do anything with it right now because I've decided that all of the crops again for next year, if I do need to put any more in the ground, are all going to be crops that I can plant in the spring. And then I just come back in the fall and harvest them, right? I don't need to do any uh, planting or anything like that in the fall for the next season. So yeah, um, I'm just going to be picking up all of this right here. And then we're going to go on to the next field. See how many of these we can make. I honestly have no idea how many you expect. I mean, this is bale number three just off of this little field right here. But that entire field that I've got back there. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of straw too. I ended up getting about five and a half bales off of the first little field that we've got there. And I've decided that I'm just going to go ahead and come right over here to this one and see if I can't get double that. I, I think I want 10 bales off this. Now I've already got one, two, three, four. Well, like three and a half, right? Because half of one of those is over there. I mean, it might, it might be possible to get 10 off of this field. That's four right there um yeah I, th I think i could do it i absolutely think i could do it and um i i'm probably gonna end up with close to like 70 bales i think total because the other field that i've got over there it is a massive massive field um that we got uh oats yeah oats was the crop and i don't know i'm i'm, I'm kind of thinking that uh, yeah i think 70 70 is a good total number i i think that's gonna be a lot of straw that we could sell here this fall because we are going to sell every bit of this too i'm, I'm not actually putting any of it into the uh the cow husbandry and i'm probably not going to put any into any other husbandry that i need um maybe a little bit in the horses if they need something but that shouldn't take anything at all um so yeah pure profit here on this and it looks like our workers over there are just about done with that field so hopefully i can get this one wrapped up here get some headers so I'm going to go ahead and touch up all of these spots right here that the worker just uh, didn't really want to get to. Uh, they, uh, they, I don't know, maybe, maybe they were thinking that this was like a Monday or something, um, but we're going to go ahead and finish up these last little bits right here. I've got the other worker over there and they, oh man, they need unloaded before they get that last little bit. Well, I've got to get this here. And then I'll unload them and we'll see what our total is off of this field. All right, so we got the entire field harvested and I'm going to go ahead and fill up this trailer. Now, one thing I was looking at the pricing and for soybeans in October, November, December, the price isn't that great. And in January, it absolutely bottoms out even more. So the best time to sell this is in June. I, I didn't realize that or I wouldn't have planted this massive field in soybeans because I want to be done with this challenge in January. Uh, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do other than maybe take a really big hit on this, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to be, you know, just waiting to the very end to see how much money I need to be able to complete that challenge. And if that's the case, then I'll probably sell this. But if I, if I don't need any more money and I've still got this in the silo, I'm probably going to wait. And it looks like we are going to have about 55,000 liters here. Maybe 56. Nope. 55, four. All right. I still got some. So let me pull forward because that's three full containers. All right, here we go. So 55, 677 is the total. Like I said, I'm going to go store this. And if I look at the pricing right now, 3,735 versus 1,600. I'd be losing 2,000 liters or $2,000. That's $100,000. That is, that is not going to work, right? Because two times fit. Yeah, that's a hundred K. I'm not missing out on that much money. So I don't know what I'm going to have to do. This challenge might not be over till June. And here we go on the corn. Now I did have to lease these two headers. They're about $6,500 a piece. But since I'm only going to have one day, it's not going to be a huge expense for me. It's going to be a lot better than having to spell and spend almost $200,000 on, you know, uh, actually these headers right here were 127 a piece. So that's two, almost $254,000 
that I'd have to spend on these headers if I did it myself. Otherwise, I mean, it, it, it's 13,000. 13,000 was the other option that I had to lease them. So I like that option a lot better than the, uh, the other option that I had here. Well, y'all, I am about to fill up the first trailer right here. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the second. And I've got another harvester over on the other side that is waiting to be unloaded as well. This is going to be quite a lot of yield off of this. I think it's going to last quite a while for the pigs that are sitting right over there in that husbandry. Now, you may not be able to see it, but it is over there and it's it, it's full, guys. Or it's going to be full very, very soon. Um, we're going to get them some food. They're going to be good. But I'm going to get this corn, figure out exactly how much I have and how, much it's, how long it's going to last. And then we're going to sell it as well. I don't have anything that this is going to be going into for production wise we're, we're just going to straight up sell whatever we don't need here but i've got to get over and get that harvester unloaded there clean up some of the edges and then we'll get this thing rocking and rolling and be on to the sunflowers let's miss the side here all right i got around it without taking that one out i am now in the soybean field and i've got another worker over there as well um this one is going to take quite a while i ended up getting quite a bit of corn off that other field i got one full combo right the, the front and back trailer got that completely full and then i filled up the front trailer again and about halfway on the rear trailer so quite a bit of corn i didn't get the exact number because i already had corn in the silos i don't know exactly how much i have I just know that I have a lot now. I'm going to get a worker going back on this side over here. I'm going to go take care of the other worker because they haven't moved in a while. I think they may be full. And then I've got to do some more bailing. Well, I picked up a few more of these straw bales that we got scattered around the farm. And uh, now I just got to finish up, I think, like four more, something like that. Um, the worker there, they've completely stopped. Uh, the other guy, he's getting ready to stop too. I'm bringing the other trailer over. Um, the first one is full the double uh trailer the tandem setup that we got completely full so working on bringing the other one over we're gonna get it as full as we can as well y'all that is a lot of sunflower seeds coming off that field got the entire field harvested and um we ended up with 113,000 liters here of sunflowers i don't know if i'm gonna be putting this into the um oil factory or not because it takes a while to get all that stuff processed through there and I kind of want to be done with this shortly after the new year. So I think I'm just going to sell this outright. Should be a pretty good little penny. So I got the first truckload of the sunflowers unloaded over at the silo and noticed that it was actually uh, pretty full. So I'm going to be bringing the rest of it over here. I think I'm going to be actually taking all of this to uh, Goldcrest Valley when it's actually time to sell. So we're going to load up it here and... Um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to have to put anything over in the other one. Um, but yeah, uh, that means I've got like 500, maybe 600,000 liters of product total. So we are going to have a really, really good uh, um, time selling all of this, uh, whatever you want to call that. But we're going to make a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money here whenever it's time to sell all these crops. Well, I've only got a couple more jobs here before I need to go ahead and get ready to start selling everything. And one of those is bailing up all of this silage. Now, it's only October right now, so I should be able to get everything bailed up and storing and let it ferment, and then we should be able to sell it in December or January. I'm hoping January is when we get the better price. That way, it gives it just a little bit longer to be able to ferment, but this should be a ton of money as well. Hope us, or to help us overcome that $700,000 debt that we have right now. I think we're going to be okay. I don't think we're going to have to do this for a whole nother year. Let me get this done, and then we'll get some calculations figured out. So I was able to make about 60 bales. I think 61 is what I actually got done here today. We're going to go ahead and start taking these over to our bale storage. That way, they got plenty of time to ferment. And, uh, man, this is hopefully, hopefully going to be enough. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of doing the math here really quick, and I think we're going to be right about where we need to be take care of that seven hundred thousand uh, dollar deficit and then hopefully still have you know i i, I want to have a million bucks but if i don't have a million bucks i i still might consider this one done i don't know yet let's let's get them all in the storage 
Well, y'all, this is the last of the bales off that field. I'm taking them over to the storage facility, but I got to stop and get some diesel. I'm, uh, I'm running pretty low, just about on fumes here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this episode for today. I'm going to go ahead and take care of the animals a little bit, give them a little bit of food, get them ready for the winter time. And the next time you guys see me, we're going to be selling everything off and seeing if we can't be done with this challenge.